Before you get first contact with the spacecraft, it's a nail biter. You sit there and wait and hope that on your first ground station pass that it turns on and you get telemetry back from it. This is where Haven Demo's journey began. VAST began developing Haven 1 to pioneer humanity's long-term future in space. In order to test and prove out the technologies required to launch and operate a space station, putting our hardware in orbit was a critical first step. Haven Demo was an idea hatched at the same time as Haven 1. We're going to go build the world's first commercial space station using technologies that exist today. In Long Beach, California, engineers designed Haven Demo as a proving ground for the systems that will power Haven 1. Computers, power systems, software, guidance and navigation, propulsion, radios, and ground operations. It's unique in its complexity. Haven Demo is like Haven 1, minus all of the systems required for supporting human life. Building Haven Demo wasn't just about manufacturing a spacecraft. It was about building a culture of collaboration and trust. A company proving to itself that it could move fast, solve hard problems, and bring ambitious designs to life. Once integrated, Haven Demo underwent an exhaustive test campaign, each trial designed to simulate the harsh realities of launch and orbit. It's really important after testing all of the subsystems and integrating them to verify that everything works together cohesively as an integrated vehicle. Following the successful test campaign, Haven Demo was delivered for integration to the rocket to launch aboard the Bandwagon 4 mission. After the team finished development, testing, and integration in record time, Haven Demo was ready to launch. The team watched as the rocket carried Haven Demo into space. Haven Demo separation confirmed. The satellite successfully achieved orbit, setting up the next critical phase, making first contact. First contact step 2.1 to attempt SRS4 connection. Sent. Good effect. With telemetry pouring into mission control, the next step was to get video downlinked and get visual confirmation of solar array deployment, signaling mission success. Logic, we have the video down. The mission was a success. Haven Demo deployed its solar array, achieved stable orbit, and remains power positive with ongoing contact to mission control. Having that hardware, having already been flown on Haven Demo, really just gives us the confidence that we need to apply it directly to a crewed spaceflight. It really proves to both ourselves and to the rest of the world that we're a real spacecraft company that we have real hardware in space, we're not just design reviews. We can build and maintain safe hardware on orbit and that we can be trusted to build the next generation of America's space stations.